Hi you guys! Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I am pretty excited about the sewing plans that I have for March. Um, I feel like I've been more realistic and critical <laughs> of myself in, just, in terms of like what I can actually get done in a month. Um, you'll see in my February makes video, like things just went completely off the rails, which is okay because I still made some really beautiful things, but I want to really kind of use my plans as like an actual like guideline for the month rather than just like getting caught up in a whim here and there. It kind of goes back to my a little bit of my resolutions video and a little bit of the like how to save money. I feel like when you get real spontaneous, then you just start spending money like crazy. Um, and then the things that you bought the previous month or even the previous couple months just kind of that's how your stash builds, right? Whenever you have a plan to do something and then you just change your mind and go in a completely different direction. So refocusing, recentering myself, and my March plans are all things that I'm really, really, really excited about. Um, so I think that that'll help me stay focused. Um, so where should we begin? I have my whole stack here. I guess let's start with um, So My Style. Um, this month's pattern is the Cali shirt and or shirt dress from Closet Case Patterns love closet case patterns patterns um i feel like she always does a really great job and i also feel like her designs are a little more unexpected they're a little bit more uh not fashion forward i mean they're not like avant-garde or anything but they aren't your basics you know um and the shirt the cali shirt dress is a really good example of that it has like a gazillion different options for you to kind of really make it your own. Um, but basically it is a, like I said, shirt or shirt dress. It has three different lengths, uh, like kind of like a cropped top, a tunic length, and then like a dress length. Then you can do a full exposed button placket, a hidden button placket, or a half placket. Then you can do a collar band or a full collar and are there sleeve options too i can't remember i'm going off memory a ton of different options so what i think i want is the cropped shirt maybe not as cropped as she's designed it her design i want to say the crop top barely covers like a high-waisted pant or skirt or something and i just don't really wear high-waisted stuff so I want it to be able to cover everything comfortably in like regular height pants and skirts but I do want it to be um, kind of a neutral kind of something that I can wear with a bunch of different things um, and I also want to I think Sunny thinks someone's at the door Sunny come here um, but I also do want to kind of fall into that trend of the denim on denim, which I think can be really cute and kind of perfect for spring. So this is the color of my denim for the ginger jeans that I'm working on, still working on, um, but this is like the back yoke piece. Anyways, this is the color of my ginger jeans that I'm making or really any really super dark denim. And then I have this chambray and I thought that if I made the crop top version with and wore it with the dark denim that would be really cute together and chambray is like pretty perfect for a shirt dress because you know holds it irons and presses really well it's really easy to sew um so for those finicky collar bits or placket parts um the chambray is going to be really 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 great so i'm kind of excited that's gonna be a cute outfit and then i can also wear this top um with white jeans um or even like patterned shorts or i mean like a ton of different things so i'm just really excited to have like a good neutral surprisingly i don't have a chambray spring or summer top i have like button-up chambray ready to wear honestly they don't fit very well so i don't really wear them that much um but other than that i really don't have a ton of chambray i think it was just like 
so popular that I was like resisting. <laughs> I was like, it's too, it's too normal. I need something not as like mainstream, you know, I think I was resisting it. But I, I mean, I've had this in my stash forever. I don't even remember where I got it. Um, but it's like a really nice cotton chambray. So excited about that for the Cali dress or shirt. Um, the next thing that I am going to be working on is like, is this going to be the month of like the solids? I don't have a single print except for one. I have one print in this whole party this month. That's interesting. That's so not like me. Maybe I'm feeling like I need some more staples um, in my wardrobe because, you know, as you change into the seasons, you're like, what do I have to wear? And like nothing's really going together. Maybe that's it. Anyways, so sneak peek little heads up in my makes video is this dress. This fabric was a muumuu, like this huge shapeless dress that I got from Goodwill and I refashioned it into this. And I chose Butterick 6319 for it um, because again when I do my refashions I like for them to be made up of smaller bodice pieces because it's easier to fit them on an existing garment um and oh surprisingly this is meant for so oh no 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 that's just like okay sorry digress anyways and so I chose this and I made it up and I was like I love this pattern this is like really really great I love the super wide I don't know if you can see it in this shot but it has like um probably three or four inch wide waistband, princess seams in the front and the back, half lined, and then a simple pleated, box pleated, kind of A-line flared skirt. And I wasn't really thinking much about it because it's kind of just like a simple, you know, fit and flare I've made a thousand times, but I don't know. I just really love it. It's very, very comfortable. It just fits really well. I didn't have to make any modifications. So I said, I need to make another one of this. And you know, for me, remaking something is pretty rare. Like I am normally a one and done type girl. Um, so yeah, I want to remake it. And I found this beautiful, um, like, uh, slub linen from Joanne. And it's very soft. I think I'm 99% sure it has rayon in it, if I remember correctly. I'll put a link in the description box if they're selling this one online. If not, then I'll just put as much as I can remember about it so you can take it to your store and try and find it yourself if you want. But it's, um, I want to say cross-woven black and then like a taupey grayish beige color. Um, so it can read well with blacks, but it also reads well with like khakis and neutrals and things like that, which I thought was really versatile. So I want to make the dress out of this. And I think that that'll just be super cute. A linen dress here in Charleston is basically like a go-to uniform because it's just so hot and humid here that, um, you need something like super breathable. So yeah, I'll be making this um, in a dress and then to go with it and also with lots and lots and lots of other things, I picked up this new Vogue pattern, Vogue 7975, and it's this really cute set of jackets with different trims. And so they have a cropped jacket and then a longer, I think, which uh, like E is longer, with cute little patch pockets, again with the princess seams, um, but I love this one with the bow ribbon detail. So the ribbon comes up the center front and then ties into a little bow. I think that's so adorable. Um, and so for that, again, I picked up a neutral because I wanted to be able to wear it with a bunch of different things. So I grabbed a black twill again from Joanne, simple black, 100% cotton twill. Oh no, it has stretch in it. So it has, it does have some kind of lycra or something in it. Um, but just your basic black with black grow grain ribbon. So not super shiny um, and a little bit of texture I thought would add like a nice touch to the black on black, you know, so they from far away, maybe you can't tell, but up close, you know, there's like some 
visual interest going on. Sounding so designery. Uh, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I just thought, you know, obviously these two together, but you can wear a black jacket with just about anything. And I don't have a little black jacket. I have a navy one, I have a pink one, I have a beige one, an olive one, but not black. So I wanna make a black one at, for this as like an outfit, but also with many, many other things. So yeah, I'm excited about this little duo. Um, okay, and then speaking of refashions, as I mentioned the dress pattern for this dress here, Butterick 6319, here is my lovely <laughs> before um, for the refashion in March. This is the before, obviously, um, but it's just a basic, I don't know, like a shirt dress with a half placket, a little collar, band collar, um, long sleeves with cuffs. It has a split hem. And, you know, when I'm looking for garments to refashion I love to find them like this because it's basically like one big piece of fabric you know what I mean like there's really not a lot to cut around um and that gives you like a lot of space to you know reposition other pattern pieces to make it into something new I do kind of feel a little bit obligated to try and work in the half placket with the band I mean because that is like so much work <laughs> um, but I don't know what's gonna happen to the rest of it I don't have a plan yet um, for what's gonna happen below the half placket I mean obviously some shaping around the shoulders and you know cinch in the waist but beyond that I'm not I'm not too sure what I'm gonna end up doing with this but it's a beautiful teal turquoise color and it has like it's almost like a um, Swiss dot kind of I guess I don't know there's not a lot of information on the tag at all um about I mean there's not even any um fabric info anywhere there's like I don't know if this was like I don't know what happened oh and also it's, it's the I remember now that I went from when I bought this check out these super weird pockets okay so you have the dress like this and then you put your hand into the pocket here and it's flat with the with the side seam like you know how normally they go into the like your pockets go into the front of your body these go straight down the side of you how interesting is that right um so i don't even know how they did that maybe i don't know well so that's the <laughs> that's the pocket which is just i thought very fun and interesting but yeah so there's no like tags or anything in here that say anything about what it's made from but I'm thinking polyester maybe some cotton in here but it feels pretty polyester-y which is fine so anyway so that's my other plan um, and the beauty of that is that those don't take super super long they're usually not that involved um, and then the last thing you guys might have seen this if you follow McCall's McCall Pattern Company or Simplicity Creative Group on Instagram or Facebook, but they are doing a royal wedding sew along and I am one of the hosts. Um, I was given new look 6526, which is this really pretty fit and flare dress, uh, similar to this one in that it has like a really wide band. The band on that one is a little bit higher up, more like an ampere waist, um, with two bodice options. You either have a V-neck with like a pretty, like almost like a scallop to it, or a crossover with some pleats on the side and then different um, variations for skirt lengths. Um, and so I have a fabric picked out for what I'm going to use. Um, it is a cotton sateen. So if you guys saw my video that I posted, um, was it, I don't know, last week sometime with the navy and cream wrap dress um that was made from cotton sateen as well i had a fantastic time making that dress i loved working with cotton sateen so i'm excited to use it again um but since this is for like a royal wedding or like a springtime wedding i wanted to do something really big something kind of bold um very romantic feeling um so it's basically like a huge 
pop, you know, poppy, the flower poppies, and they're bright red set on like a creamy white background. Um, so it's very big, very bold, and I just think that those huge poppies are going to set off really well in such a dramatic, like fit and flare dress. So if you don't know about the project, um, there are five of us bloggers, each sewing a different pattern that was chosen by the fans of McCall's and Simplicity social media accounts, which is just super cool. And then each of us are going to be doing a sew along with our project with our pattern and the fabric that we chose. So I think I want to say there are eight videos in the series. So you'll start seeing those roll out this month and hopefully you like the pattern that I will be sewing and you want to join me in sewing this for the royal wedding. There are going to be giveaways, there's going to be a contest, all kinds of fun stuff. So head to um, either McCall's, McCall Pattern Company or Simplicity Creative Group's social media accounts and there will be lots of information there that they can get out to you probably faster than I can. But so that's all part of March and also April too. So that'll be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about um, the opportunity and just sewing that dress. It's going to be so much fun. I think it's gonna be really beautiful. And just to kind of participate in all of the hullabaloo of Meghan and Harry and the Royals, you know, it'll be a lot of fun. So that is it. Believe it or not, I just had those few things. Like I said, I'm kind of trying to regroup and stay focused. <laughs> I do have a couple of works in progress left over from February that will be sprinkled in as well. So you may see me working on those on my socials. But let me know what you guys are planning on sewing in March. Let me know if you're going to be participating in the Royal Wedding Sew Along with me or anyone else. And I just can't wait to hear what everybody's working on. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye!